What's going on guys? It's Chris Corey with So Me For That's Me in the Middle of Sofa and I'm back with another video. And uh, this one is about the ultimate HTPC. And I've been building home theater PCs for around five years now. And about four years ago, I built a really, really cool HTPC. And I've been piecing together uh, parts and trying to make it the ultimate home theater PC. Now, when I say the ultimate home theater PC, I mean that it includes gaming, um, Blu-ray playing, uh, streaming, web browsing, DVR functionality, um, all of those things in one so that it could replace so many things under my TV and I could just use one operating system. I don't have to have a bunch of remotes. I don't have to switch a bunch of inputs. I don't have to have a bunch of cords and cables uh, running from the back of my TV. And with this challenge to build this ultimate home theater PC, I had to make sure that it was in the right form factor. It had to be the right size. It couldn't be loud. And it was very important for it to be efficient. And I feel like I did a great job of building the Ultimate HTPC. Now there's a lot of bugs that have to be worked out, but this guys is what I'm talking about. Uh, take a good look. But we're gonna get into the hardware of this home theater PC. And then I'm gonna show you guys some of the things that I can do um, with this home theater PC. All right. All right, first up guys, I wanna talk about the chassis. This is the Straycom FC9 chassis. And this is a pretty cool chassis. First of all, I, I bought this chassis because of its size. Um, it fits under my TV in my home theater cabinet. And I see a lot of people with huge home theater PCs that they have to modify their um, entertainment cabinet in order to, to get it to fit. Uh, this is a pretty large chassis to be low profile, but it does fit. I can put it in. I can get my hands to the back if I need to plug something in or, or take it out. And uh, it's a pretty sturdy chassis. Also, another reason it looks good it looks really really good um and it's very well made uh this is all aluminum it's sandblasted i love the color because you don't see a lot of fingerprints uh scratches and it, it just looks so good compared to those black devices that you see under tvs all the time and and this really looks good in my home theater uh, cabinet. Uh, <clears throat> like I said, it's passively cool and it has these cool fins on the side that disperse heat out from these fins uh, from the CPU. So I'm gonna talk about that a little bit more. And this is a look at the back. Um, this is actually a micro ATX size case and I put a micro ATX size motherboard and here you can go down to a uh, mini ITX uh, but this is the back of the motherboard and the inputs um, and basically it's just everything that I needed from um, a motherboard and it just has every little thing that I need and here is where my graphic card uh, lies and also uh, my cable card tuner and I'll get into those a little bit more and here's where my power supply is it's a 150 watt power supply from Straycom um, so <clears throat> with this bill I was working with kind of limited power normally you you go from 300 and up but I only had 150 watts but taking the top off I want to explain what this passive passively cool technology is and basically here is where my CPU lies and um, this attachment attaches these copper pipes 
And also, if you can see, these copper pipes are snug up against the side of the chassis. And basically, heat comes from the CPU to these copper pipes and it's dispersed throughout the chassis. All right, so you see the fins on the other side also. Yes, it's dispersed throughout the chassis and it does a great job of cooling my CPU. And the CPU that I have here is um, Intel i7 3770T. Not K, not S, but actually T. And you can't really get your hands on these processors uh, very easily. They, um, for some reason, uh, aren't sold on, on retail markets. So you have to kind of get lucky and find one. I think I found mine on eBay and I had to pay a little bit more than market price for it. It is an Ivory Bridge uh, CPU. I built this around four years ago. So uh, my motherboard is an Ivory Bridge motherboard. It's um, um, an ASUS P8. Z770M, the M stands for uh, micro, micro ATX. But back to um, the CPU, it actually only runs on um, 45 watts. It has a 45 watt TDP. And that is so cool because seeing that I only have a 150 or 60 watt power supply, um, it doesn't use up a majority of my power just um, for the CPU and I could add other uh, components. And a really big one that I recently installed is this graphics card. This is the MI MSI uh, GeForce GTX 750 Ti. It's a low profile card. It's one of the only cards with this much power that, and I, actually it's the only card with this much power that would fit into my bill it takes up two slots i didn't really have a problem with that but i must say this is a very very good graphics card and i'm really waiting on the next version i'm crossing my fingers that they'll make a low profile uh gtx 950 ti because this thing actually helped me get rid of my gaming console i had a, a ps4 and I decided to just get rid of it because I only play a few games. Uh, the main game being um, NBA 2K. When I have some friends over, I like to play that game. But <clears throat> I really didn't need it anymore after I bought this graphics card. And uh, there are a few more games that I love to play like Rocket League and uh, GTX 5, GTA 5. I'm sorry. So uh, this card runs those games very very well and it looks just as good as uh, the PS4 or the Xbox One. Right here I have the Seaton Xfinity TV Xfinity TV um, 4 PCIe. Uh, I think this version is discontinued but if you have cable service and you want to uh, have your own equipment so you don't have to pay those cable box fees or you don't want to pay for a TiVo that costs so much and, and they have these extra fees. So um, this could save you a lot of money <clears throat> if you have cable. And also if you have Xboxes around the house, Xbox 360, you can use those um, in conjunction with this cable card to actually use those as DVRs in other rooms. And that's my dog scratching on the door. I'm sorry about that. Um, and that's a really, really cool uh, thing for you to use. But I've uh, decided to discontinue my service with um, Comcast. So I'm looking for other solutions for cable cutter. So I will be having some videos on that. I really hate cable companies. Uh, it's kind of a rip off, uh, especially Comcast Infinity. They have very very bad service but that's a video for another day also for storage i have two ssds and this is kind of just sitting up here um I actually have some some velcro double-sided velcro tape you know uh, to keep this down but normally it just sits up here um actually a drive a blu-ray drive was here but if you've seen my previous videos slim slot loading 
Blu-ray drives or DVD drives. I haven't had great luck with the one that was here. It went out. I felt like I shouldn't buy another one. <clears throat> I could use the space <clears throat> for more storage. And that's what I did. I, I bought the Samsung 850 Evo. Um, this is a uh, great, great SSD. It's 250 gigabytes. And under here, I have the Intel SSD, um, 120 gigabytes. This was my main drive until I uh, brought this one along. And <clears throat> I decided to just keep both in the system. If you can see, also, I have a fan here. Yes, this is a passively cool chassis. But um, later on, I found out that I would need to be able to cool my uh, infinity card and you you need case fans for that and I decided to just put a, a fan right here <coughs> it's not in the greatest spot and this made my build kind of tough to figure out where I could actually put this fan but it does a very good job <clears throat> of cooling my infinity uh, infinity TV uh, cable card toner so also I had to modify this case and as you can see there's a little cutout here and i actually had other components here i had a, um, a capture card here that wouldn't actually fit either so i ended up having to cut this little section out so that those components could fit and also i have some uh, memory here and this is PMY uh, DDR3 memory. I think it's rated at 1600 and uh, it's 16 gigabytes and it gets the, the job done. It's kind of overkill for this system, but I do like to do some video editing. I want my programs to open up fast and this video definitely will be edited on this device. So uh, I get work done, uh, homework, a lot of things done I want my computer to be fast it's not just for uh, entertainment uh, it's also for you know taking care of business when I'm not around my desktop computer or my laptop so or I just don't feel like pulling it out also you probably can't see it but right back here I have um, an IR receiver and that's for remote control use I really don't use it much uh, but it's something that I felt like that I, I had to add uh, to my system, but this is just a look at all my parts uh, in this this build I really think this is the prototype for the ultimate HTP something that is capable of, of gaming and uh, playing all your entertainment uh, uh, Being able to surf the internet this bad boy really gets the job done and it has been getting the job done for four years it's reliable, uh, it's sturdy, and I just love it. Uh, next up, I wanna go ahead and get into some of the peripherals and accessories that I use to just make my home theater experience uh, the, the best. And let's go ahead and get into that now, guys. All right, guys, I just want to show you my setup and my peripherals and also a few other things that I have hooked into my home theater PC. Uh, this is my couch and I'm about seven feet away from my TV and uh, that is a great distance. I would say the closer the better um, and the larger the TV the better. I think the range between seven and 12 feet is, is okay. I actually had this hooked up in another room and I was a lot farther away from uh, the TV than I am now and I had a smaller TV and it was okay but let me show you guys some of the peripherals that I use this is the Sodeco air keyboard and this is the Logitech um, K400 both of these are great keyboard mouse combinations for home theater PCs if I had to choose one it would probably be the Sodeco but I do use a Logitech when it's time for me to get some heavy typing done. Um, these are my video game controllers and these are the Xbox 360 
controllers. I use these to play games uh, on my home theater PC. That's my Panasonic remote. And this is my 50 inch plasma television, the Panasonic. And as you can see here, I have a webcam on top. This is a very important piece of my home theater PC setup. I can Skype um, and do other video chatting services. All right, and down here at the bottom, I have my home theater PC. And if you look on this second row, I think it's kind of hard to see in the back, but right back there, I have uh, two more hard drives right here in the back. And this is my old 500 gigabyte hard drive. I have a one terabyte and a two terabyte uh, drive back in the back. You probably see a couple of lights, but it's kind of hard to see back there. Um, and also, since I uninstalled my uh, Blu-ray drive on my device, I did have an external drive that I can hook up um, when I do need to burn a CD or uh, play some type of uh, CD or, or DVD. All right, and this is my USB hub, and this comes in really handy when I need to add something quickly or just add a new device. And as you can see, this is my dongle for my my game controllers, my Microsoft uh, Xbox 360 game controllers. And I also have a router, wireless router right back here. All right, now let's get into some of the things that I can actually do on my PC. All right, guys, I wanna show you now how I like to use my home theater PC. Uh, first, let me just show you the hardware that I have, just to show that I'm not, you know, pulling you guys leg about my hardware. This is a GeForce GTX 750 that's in my system, the i7 uh, 3770 uh, T. And uh, I have 16 gigabytes of RAM and my resolution is 1080p. And let me go to systems also. So just to bag that information up. Uh, wrong one. Yep, and I guess the same thing here. Graphics card is not there, but uh, same information there. Okay, now um, one thing that I really, really like to use is Google Chrome. Uh, having a web browser on your TV is so important. Now you get these on smart TVs, you get it with um, gaming consoles, but they are not the best to use. And a lot of features that you get with a web browser uh, on Windows, you don't get it with those devices, like the ability to download things. So uh, you can't download a lot of things on those browsers. And then the on-screen keyboard, I do have an on-screen keyboard here, but I never ever use it. But to the up, down, left, right interface to type things in will take so long. And I really don't have the time and patience for this. And let's just go to my favorite site, uh, the site that I'm on the most, the site that you may be on right now. Uh, this is uh, YouTube. And uh, YouTube is probably where I spend the most of my time. And I really have some weird recommendations up right now. I have no clue why probably because I watch a lot of weird stuff. But this is where I spend most of my time. There's so much good stuff on YouTube. I probably would not have learned how to build a, a PC at all if it wasn't for YouTube. And um, I'd like to thank this guy right here for helping me build my first home theater PC. Uh, but there's just so much good stuff that you can look up, learn how to do um, a lot of entertainment and you know YouTube on other devices to me just suck because like I said the on-screen keyboard that sucks uh, the fact that if you have something like a Chromecast you actually have to have your cell phone here and you know a lot of times that's a little iffy and you don't get uh, 
the really great quality that you would get uh, from a PC. So this is, you know, this was a really, really big selling point uh, for me to build my own home theater PC. And, you know, you, you do have also services like Netflix. Um, I can watch my Netflix. I think it's much easier to use on um, your home theater PC because I can just scroll down and get to what I want to very easily. And also, you have to remember, services like Netflix and Hulu uh, and YouTube were created first in a web browser. And the, the experience was to be used in a web browser. So apps came along later, but um, this is its home. This is where it actually comes from. And it's just so much, so much easier for me to, to use this um, within a, a web browser. All right, another thing too, let me head over to Amazon. I do a bunch of shopping from my couch. I think that's kind of hard to do with, with other devices. But Amazon Video, I have access to all streaming services. Uh, I don't know if you guys could name one that a home theater PC doesn't have. If you can, put it in the comments and uh, just let me know. But just all the um the movies the the videos that i want i'm sure there is nothing that i cannot find um on a home theater pc i have access to to just about anything and now let's talk about the big three um we have um i, I think there's an easier way for me to get into it i'm not gonna worry about it but we have the big three uh, streaming services, um, especially when it comes to consumption of TV shows and, and movies. Um, I'm not going to do this uh, update right now, but I have access to iTunes. I have access to uh, the Amazon uh, video store. I have access also to, to Google Play. And I don't think there is one device out there that can claim to have all three of those streaming services. So uh, there's not a movie or a video or a um, anything, anything, uh, or a TV show that can get by me. You know, uh, I can watch whatever I want to. Uh, one of my other favorites is Cody. And let me see if I can pull that up. Anyone who knows or has used Cody before, they know how great this program is. And it took me a while. I've only been using it for the last few months, but this is a great, 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 great uh, program. I'm not gonna get too deep into it. If you know, you just know, and it's easy for me to full screen and get out of it. But uh, Cody is a, a really, really great program. And it used to be um, XBMC. Um, but now they changed the name to Cody, and it's, it's really cool. Um, another streaming service that I love to use uh, is Sling TV. Now, there has to be some um, updates and some bugs worked out of of Sling TV because a lot of times, you know, it just doesn't want to work for me. And I see a lot of users having this problems, these problems across many platforms. But uh, this is a cool concept. They have pretty much all the channels that I like to watch. Uh, it's pretty easy to use. And you go through the guides, you can see um, it has about, about 20, 30 great great channels i'll probably be using this today to watch some football uh, windows media center is probably uh, my favorite app but right now i'm not using it uh, because i haven't had a, a good experience with 
uh, Xfinity TV from Comcast. So I, I just really don't like to use it too much and I actually cancel my cable service because prices were getting too high and it just seems like a rip off to me. And uh, I think things are gonna have to change with, with cable service providers in the next coming years. And I think they are making some adjustments. But uh, here's my guide menu. Uh, that is still up. And it's really easy to record whatever I want to. Um, I can always add a hard drive, um, unlike something like a TiVo. Uh, you can add a hard drive and may cost you, or you may have to go in and, and tinker with some things yourself. Um, but this is a really, really good um, application for your, your DVR service. And I have some recorded TV here. And let's see. Maybe I can show something I won't get into much trouble with. This was some local high school basketball a few years ago. But, I, you know, I absolutely love this application. One other thing I love to do is to multitask uh, on my home theater PC. So I have another app, and it's called, let me turn this down. I have another app called um, Always on Top, and it allows you to keep certain programs up front while you view other programs, while you, you do other things. So let's just say this game is on. I see one of the players, uh, Ben Simpson, Ben Simmons, I'm sorry, great college athlete. And now I can look up, you know, all the information I want to about this guy while I'm watching this. You know, I do this a lot with commercials. I see a product that I like and I'll just uh, multitask and go into my web browser uh, to see something that's going on with, with their product or, or something I might wanna buy, you know. So that's a really, really cool thing to do. And I can do this with Cody, I do it with Sling TV. And uh, I'm sure you can't find any device out there uh, on the market when it comes to gaming consoles, streaming boxes, DVRs that has the functionality uh, to do something like this. All right, uh, another thing I love to do is to game. And like I was saying earlier, my PC has the capabilities of a gaming console. One of my favorite games is Grand Theft Auto. And this looks absolutely great on, on my system. And uh, it's really on par with PS4 graphics. I know you probably won't be able to see it that well on here. And I probably should have turned the frame rate on so you guys could see that better. But maybe I'll do a separate video on, on just gaming. And this is taking a little while. It takes a little minute to load. But I'll just show you guys what I have going on here. All right, and this is just absolutely a good looking game. Oh, sorry, lady. My bad. I really didn't mean to hit you. But everything looks pretty damn good. All right, now let me get out of here. And I'll show you one more game. NBA 2K also is one of my favorite games. We're not going to show you that because it's going to take a little bit too much time to get it going, but one of my other favorite favorite games is Rocket League. And this has become very popular this year. And I'm sure it's one of the top games for 2015. 
And I'll turn it up just a tad. And you don't have to have an incredible system to play this game. But this is a very good looking game. Very fun to play and I think they're gonna score on me. Nope. All right, but let me get out of here. So I have just so much functionality out of this system. I mean, I, it's a DVR, it's a gaming console, it's a full-fledged computer, it's a streaming system, streaming box. It, there's just so much that I can do, and when it comes to home entertainment, I don't think there's nothing I can't do. And on top of that, as you can see, I have Photoshop here. I do a little graphic design. You know, I, um, if I don't want to go to my laptop or you know, to a desktop computer, I can take care of that right here, Qu quickly and simple, uh, quickly and easily. If you see anything that I do, my website was created um, actually on my home theater PC. Uh, I don't have it, you know, up right now to be up soon, but just getting work done. You know, my videos are edited right here. This particular video will be edited right here on my home theater PC. So there is just so much that you can do and also i didn't even talk about this social media let me go to facebook it doesn't really get any better than uh you know social media in a web browser facebook you know instagram yeah you won't be able to you know send photos but i mean instagram everything is is right here you know so I, this is just the the benefit and to me this is the ultimate home theater pc because i mean there's so much that i can do um you know the sky is the limit and you know there may be more things that i can do i didn't even show you guys my camera um let me go to record just so things can be a little bit more smooth, but you know, I Skype from here. Um, you know, I talk to my girlfriend uh, from this uh, app, you know, so I, it's just so much that, that you can do. And I think if this was in more, more living rooms, we would be just a smarter, better uh, society of people. So, uh, let me know what you think, you know, please leave a comment. Is this the ultimate HTPC? Is this the future for home theater PCs? Um, are home theater PCs the future? Uh, let me know. Um, I absolutely love this device. Please subscribe. I will have more videos coming up about home theater PCs, uh, more build videos, show you guys some apps. Um, so, Please make sure you subscribe and make sure you like this video. All right. Thank you, guys.